Hi everyone, this is Tracy with the Idea Closet and Paper Closet Designs. I have one more video today to show you, and that is how to make these um, 2x2 two two slider cards using your Silhouette Studio Basic Edition and DXF files. I've already showed a video uh, making them with SVGs, which can be made with um, Designer Edition or above and a video showing you how to use them with GSDs, also accessible through Silhouette Basic Edition. Now I'm going to show you how to do them with DXF. It's pretty similar to the GSD files, but um, there's a couple of small differences. So let's go ahead and get started and open up Silhouette Studio. I am using the Business Edition, but this can be opened up with your Basic Edition. Basic Edition is one of the, or excuse me, DXS is one of the files that Basic Edition does accept. So the first thing that we'll do is we're going to go to File and Open, and we're going to navigate to where those files are. I'm going to shoot back here and show you just a second. When you purchase designs from Paper Closet Design on my Etsy store, they come with these different files. So first we have Design Space that is used with your Cricut Design Space. DXF is what we're going to use today. GSD can also be used with, um, excuse me, Silhouette Basic Edition. It can also be used with RoboMaster if, you, if you're using RoboMaster. And there's some other digital cutters out there that take GSD as well. And then finally SVGs. There is a PDF which has all of the instructions and the images, so you can print those out and then you can use the images as you printed them, just cut and fold, or you can cut them out and use them as a template if you want to do it by hand. So lots of options available. Let's open up our DXF. There's only one file in here which makes it really simple. We're going to click OK and it's going to open up right into our Silhouette Studio and there are all of the pieces that you need for the slider box. We have the basic box bottom, we have the plain slider top, we have the cutout slider top, we have the nugget wrappers, you'll actually need four for your box, you're going to hold four nuggets. We have the frame, the plastic insert that would be glued onto the inside of your box. This is an optional piece, but it's really handy if you want your box to hold something that's really small, say some M&Ms or something else, and you don't want them to fall out of that window, then you can place that little clear plastic piece in there. There's an optional background piece that can be printed on or cut out of any type of cardstock or printed cardstock. And then we have the two tags here as well. Um, one of the things when you're working with DXF files is the perforation marks all come in grouped. And we need to release those if we want to separate the boxes and cut them out of separate colors. So we're going to hit right click and release compound path. It's going to take it just a second and then you're going to know that it's been released because you'll get these little um, boxes all the way around every little perforation mark. So the first thing we'll do is we're just going to click and drag across that bottom, or excuse me, that top box, the plain one, and then I'm going to right click and group. I'm going to do the same down here. Right click and group and then do the same with our box bottom. Right click and group. And now each of those pieces is its own separate group and you can move them around on and off the mat, whatever you need to be able to cut them out. This is our tag piece. There's two different tags, a larger one and a smaller one, so you can use them separately or you can layer them. They are already, or excuse me, they, they're not grouped, so we want to group them. I like to make them a compound path. I'm going to do that with that one. 
And then with this smaller one, and you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you don't move the individual pieces around because you want them right um, lined up where they are. This is our um, background piece again. You can select both those pieces, make a compound path, and then select both of those pieces and make a compound path. If you want to, you can fill these pieces in with color. Um, I'm going to hold my shift key and the frame and the box and fill those in with pink. And then you can do fill these in with whatever color you want or you don't have to. Um, there's no rule that says these have to be filled in with color. Some people like to do it because it makes it easier to know what color you want to cut them out with and some people don't like to do that. So you can do that, you can fill them all in or you can leave them empty. I'm just going to undo, actually I'm going to multiple, multiple undo and we're going to go down here to edit because we don't want to. It's going to take a minute. Okay, I didn't want that filled with color. It's going to take a little minute, so we're just going to do this. Once you have your pieces the way that you want them, you of course will get ready to cut. Now I'm going to show you really quick, if I were going to cut everything uh, all at once, I would leave it on the board. On the mat, of course, if I wanted to cut each piece separately, I would slide the ones off that I wasn't going to cut, put the ones on the mat that I was, cut them, and then slide them off. It's really super simple. But if you hit your send button, there is your cut window, and you can actually cut by simple, so you don't even have to mess with these other difficult, not difficult, but these other actions, so it cuts very simple. Um, your card setting is all there, your, your um, excuse me, your material setting, your action setting, and then your tool, and you can change your tool if need be. Let me just give you one really quick tip of how I typically cut my images out, and I've showed this in other videos, and I show this all the time in my classes, but um, one of the things that people talk about with the silhouette is it's really confusing which to cut and, and in what order and everything. So all I do is I select all my images and I slide them off the side of my mat. I usually go to the left side of my mat. If I can slide this over then you can see it. Then let's say I'm cutting a pink piece of paper first. So I would select all the images that I want to cut out of pink and slide them over here. You can um, put them on your mat however you want and then you would just send and cut them out and then you're just going to select all these and instead of deleting them and losing your pieces or whatever I just slide them over to the right side of the board and then I would go and get the next pieces that I wanted to cut. Say I wanted to cut these out of bright red or, or whatever. And that is all there is to it. It's very, very simple. I hope you've enjoyed the videos that I made today showing you how to do these nugget boxes. I hope you'll visit me on my blog for lots more projects, inspirations, ideas, tutorials. And I hope you'll come by Paper Closet Design on Etsy and see what files I have and start creating today. Thank you. Bye-bye.